welcome to the First Home Show podcast created for first home buyers. I'm your host, Melissa Barlas. I'm a property lawyer, owner and founder of PropTech Legal, and I've been a first home buyer myself. In this podcast, I'll share with you in up to 10 short minute increments what you need to know as a first home buyer, and I'll share with you legal tips on how to purchase your first home successfully. Now, don't go it alone in the property market. We at PropTech Legal are here for you. to our very first episode of the First Home Show podcast. I'm your host, Melissa Barlas, and thank you so much for tuning in. Now, this is my very first podcast, and I can't wait to share with you what I know and what I've learned uh, as a property lawyer to help you be on your way to purchasing your first home confidently. The reason I wanted to do this podcast is because You know, buying property for a lot of people out there, it can feel like a complicated and overwhelming process, even more so if you're a first home buyer. And so it's 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 understandable, you know, you're you're having to deal with the real estate agent, arranging finance, you know, budgeting, uh, attending inspections of properties, gathering the deposit, and the list goes on. And meanwhile, you're juggling work, family, uh, for many of us kids. personal commitments, you name it. And at the same time, while all that chaos is going on, you're also asking yourself a lot of questions like, you know, um, what happens after uh, uh, I find a property I like? What happens next? You know, do I engage a conveyancer before I buy? Do I engage them after? Uh, When do I put my offer in and, and how do I do it? When do I pay my deposit? Who do I pay it to? Where does it go? Um, you know, what point? at what point do I start arranging my finance for the purchase. And sometimes we even ask ourselves, is this property a good decision to buy or is it a a risky investment? So I understand it's no wonder buying, you know, a first home can feel like a daunting and a very overwhelming process. So I wanted to do this podcast to at least try and demystify all of the uncertainty um, that comes with buying your first home Um, and answer as many questions as I can, and to provide you with legal tips and information to be able to protect yourself from risk when it comes to buying your first home and to help you buy confidently. Now, today, we're going to be talking about one of the most important risk management approaches you can take when it comes to buying a property. And that is to get a property lawyer to review and advise you on the sale contract documents before you buy. So whether it's, you know, an experienced lawyer such as myself to do it for you or or someone else locally, whoever it might be that you want to engage, getting a property lawyer to review the sale contract documents is a must before you buy. I can't stress that enough. Now, in Victoria specifically, there are two key documents that you want reviewed by a property lawyer before you buy. The first is a document called a contract of sale, which consists of terms and conditions to do with the purchase that you enter into with the seller. And then there's a second document, which is sometimes attached to the contract of sale as well. And the second document is called a vendor statement. It's also known as a section 32. And that document contains a series of disclosures about the property uh, that the seller is required to make to you by law. So this can include things to do with, you know, the rates and levies that that um, that are that run with the property uh, every year. It can include uh, restrictions that run with the property and how that might affect your use and enjoyment of the property any works that might have been performed at the property and whether they, uh, whether the seller has uh, received all the permits uh, to complete that work, uh, any zoning laws uh, and how that might affect your use, et cetera. They're, they're just a few. So at this stage, you might be asking yourself the question, well, why is it so important to get advice from a lawyer about the contract and the vendor statement before you buy? Well, it's because of one key principle, 
you incur the liability for anything wrong with the property from the day you enter into the contract to buy it. So what does that mean? It means that you're liable for all the risks at your cost that affect the property from the day of sale. So if the risk is too great and you want to end the contract and get your deposit back, in a lot of cases you actually can't unless the contract or some other rule of law specifically states otherwise. And that's a scary thought, right, that you're entering into a contract and you're taking the risk from the contract date without in a lot of cases, the ability to end the contract afterwards if you find something untoward about the property later on. So getting advice about the contract and the vendor statement from an experienced property lawyer will ensure three key things for you. The first is you'll be aware of any unfair or unacceptable terms and conditions about the contract that increase your cost, your liability, Uh, or your obligations as a buyer. The second is you'll also be across any key risks associated with the property that are disclosed to you in the vendor statement, which can include things like illegal works, restrictions that run with the property and your intended use, encumbrances registered against a title and how that might impact you, um, combustible cladding investigations or owner's corporation issues, to name a few. And the third is... You'll, you will have exercised due diligence before you buy. And the requirement to exercise due diligence is, uh, is something that purchasers must exercise before they buy property in Victoria and I dare say throughout Australia. Now, an experienced property lawyer will be able to do the following things. They'll be able to identify all the key risks in the contract and the vendor state statement Uh, even the most inconspicuous ones. And they'll be able to explain how those risks affect you as a buyer in a very clear and meaningful way. And they can propose changes that need to be made to the contract as well. Uh, An experienced property lawyer will be able to check that you understand the advice as well. And they'll be able to help you negotiate changes to the contract too before you buy Now, many first home buyers may be concerned about the cost to engage a lawyer to provide good advice about the the contract and the vendor statement before they buy. And that concern is completely understandable. You know, buying your first home is one of, if not, the biggest financial decision you can make in your life. Every dollar counts. And you're watching your budget closer than ever. So I know I've been there too. But the truth is, the cost of getting a contract and a vendor statement reviewed by a lawyer is far less than the cost and stress you would face if you didn't get it reviewed. And I'll give you an example. Let's say you bought an apartment that looked picture perfect, right? You decided not to get the contract reviewed just to save some money, only to discover two weeks later that the levies payable to the owner's corporation are in excess of $10,000 a year to rectify non-compliant combustible cladding laid on the outside of the apartment complex and to also fund the owner's corporation's lawsuit against the builder of the complex for all the rectification costs. And you also discover just at that point that the seller had actually disclosed this risk in the contract and the vendor statement to you before you bought the property, yet you decided not to get the contract reviewed. And so now... You're, you're frantic and you decide it's just too costly to proceed with the purchase and you no longer want the property. You want to end the contract to get your deposit back because you are just not up for paying more than $10,000 a year just on owner's corporation fees alone. It's too costly and not worth the investment. But the truth is you can't end the contract at that point. You're, you're required to proceed with the purchase, which causes you stress and anxiety and convinces you that you've just made the worst decision of your life. And that heartache could have been avoided had the contract been reviewed by an experienced property lawyer before buying. The lawyer would have identified the risk of paying excess owners' corporation levies for a dispute that doesn't even have an end date, which would have actually informed your decision not to proceed with buying the property in the first place, and you would have dodged a bullet. Another cost-cutting approach that many people take 
is to review the contract and the vendor statement themselves or to engage uh, simply a local conveyancer to review the documents for them just to avoid paying a little bit more for a lawyer to do it. Now, I highly recommend that you do not review the contract and the vendor statement yourself or engage, um, you know, just simply a local conveyancer that's not necessarily qualified as a lawyer to review the documents just for the sake of saving money. Let me start by saying that there are some brilliant conveyances out there and I've worked with many and I have so much respect for the industry because I know how much work goes involved in uh, preparing to settle properties for uh, buyers and sellers alike. So I really respect what they do and the hours that they put in and the work that they do. But the truth of the matter is conveyances are not legally insured or qualified to review contracts. So you may not be covered by their professional indemnity insurer if you decide to claim losses incurred from receiving inadequate advice, whereas an experienced property lawyer is actually trained to identify even the most inconspicuous and complex risks that may not be apparent to you when you look at the documents yourselves. Um, And they're also insured to provide you with that legal advice. Just as a final note, I want to just reiterate that getting legal advice about the contract and the vendor statement is the greatest safety net that you can invest in before buying property, which is one of the most important financial decisions of your life. So it really does pay to know through the advice of a property lawyer if you're actually making a good decision when it comes to buying your first home. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's podcast about the importance of getting legal advice on your contract and vendor statement before you buy. And I hope you have a fantastic week and happy house hunting for your first property. I'll see you next time.